In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to scan documents and paper in with the Fujitsu ScanSnap S1300 and how to get those into Evernote as searchable PDF documents. So over here on the left I have Evernote open and the notebook that I have open is the Imports notebook and that is set as my default notebook. So if, if you go to Notebook Settings, you can see Make This My Default Notebook is checked there. So whenever I scan something in, that's the notebook that it automatically goes into. Over here on the right, I have my iPhone 5 mirrored via uh, the AirPlay to my MacBook, so you can see what's going on with that. And the reason I have that mirrored over here is because I'm going to use the camera to show you what happens when you scan something into this scanner. But at the same time, you can see how it goes into Evernote. So let me pull up the video camera here. Now, sorry this video is going to be a little bit jittery because I'm sending video over wireless here and uh, it's not too fast. So first thing I'm going to scan in is a business card. I'm going to put it in the scanner. You put it upside down, face down. And this is a one button scanner. So because I have it set up this way, I'm just going to push scan. Okay, that's the first thing. And you can see it's gone into Evernote. Next I'm going to scan is a half sheet of just a legal pad. And on the front it says sample page of notes, page one. The back it just says page two. And let me put these sides in a little bit so it keeps it straight. Okay, I'm going to scan this. Didn't scan it quite straight. I should have put those sides in a little bit better. Last thing I'm going to scan in is a full size sheet of paper. And this is just a typed sheet of paper from an Evernote training session I did. So I'm going to put this in again face down, upside down, and put these sides in so it's nice and straight. Oops, didn't do that quite well enough. This paper is bent a little bit, so it may be a little crooked, but anyway, let me scan that. Okay, now let me shut off this camera. And let me turn off AirPlay there. Okay. Now let's go over here to Evernote and see what happened. Okay, as you can see, it scanned in the business card and it recognizes the size of the paper. So it doesn't scan everything in as the same size paper. It only scans, it only makes an image in the scan of what the actual paper is as far as the size. Okay, it scanned in both sides of that. Obviously, it's in color and it scanned this sheet as well. And I've got all these set up, I've got the scanner set up to scan everything as a searchable PDF document. Now let me show you the settings. Okay, when you install this scanner, let me bring up the ScanSnap Manager dialog. Uh, oops, I'm sorry. Let me go to Options. Oops, sorry. Um, let me go to uh, Settings. Sorry about that. Okay, you've got several things in the menu here. Under application, you can tell it what application to scan items into. So you can pick a bunch of different things there if you wanted to. Dropbox or uh, you know, Sugar Sync is what I use. Google Docs, email, a specific folder, whatever. I've got it set up to scan directly into Evernote. Then you've got application settings that you can choose there. And notice that I have convert to searchable PDF checked up here. That's very important. Okay, under the save option, it saves these under the pictures uh, portion of the hard drive as well. And the format that it gives these file names is the year, the month, the day, and also a time format. And then under the scan settings, I have it set under normal, auto color detection, and duplex scanning, which means double sided. You've got some options there for the file format. I have it set up to scan as a PDF. And then I have it checked here, convert to searchable PDF. And paper size 
it detects it automatically. And then compression, I've got it set normally. So those are the settings that you would probably want to use for the Fujitsu ScanSnap S1300. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.